I've got uh, hoses on here and everything else. I'm lacking a couple hose clamps and stuff, but I think I have enough tension there. We're not on high pressure system. Yet. I've got this uh, little giant pump. And this little giant pump I've been hanging on to for, oh, I don't know, six, seven, eight years. This pump originally was purchased when I bought my synchro wave and spent my wad on that. And I wanted to run a water cooled torch. And I didn't have enough to buy a uh, one of the cool main site. I didn't have enough dough to buy one of those. But what I did is I, I bought this little giant pump. I put it in a five gallon pail. I went out to the yard and I yanked out a heater core out of a Scout 2, uh, Inter International Scout 2, and mounted the heater core in a box and bolted a, a little electric fan on one side and the pump would go through the torch and on the return cycle go through the heater core and then back into the five gallon pail. I ran it for four or five years that way. Uh, so that is a, a cheap way out on a water cool system for a tip torch. Uh, if you were in the same spot as me and couldn't spend the big bucks on, the, on a cool mate uh, system. All right, we're gonna lower this down in here. This is gonna be our sump. And of course, I want to paint this and this stuff so it doesn't rust and I want to make it covered. But, uh, it, you know, <laughs> I've been waiting and waiting and I want, to, I want to test this thing out. Also, I want to find out if I have leaks. I was going to do a soap test, but uh, it was put water in it. We'll mark where it leaks if it does. And we got to drain it out and clean it anyway. We want to see the function, the water level and all that. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to get some water in here. All right. We filled up the, uh, the half a barrel there, a little bit bigger than half the barrel, but uh, we filled it up to what we feel is half of a 55 gallon drum. So we just kind of want to keep track of how much water uh, it takes to put it at what level. And uh, so we, we got a starting point of 25 gallons. Now we know we can't suck that entire amount out of there because the submersible pump uh, draws from its side and it's a little bit like that off the bottom there. Okay, and later on we're going to get fancy and we'll probably actually put a switch, but here we go. We should start seeing water flow up out of here if uh, 15 years later this pump is still working. Little splash. I'm going to unplug this just a little bit there. We will have to be uh, retrofitting something a little better than our guard right there, but we do, uh, we got some good water flow out of that thing anyway. Okay, now we'll, we'll resume. I was just starting to get a little sprinkles up here on my, uh, on the gantry uh, uh, carriage there, so. All right. Uh, let that fill up and that's what you want to make sure that you don't have uh, water interfering with all of your uh, electrical and everything else up here on the top so, but I am happy with uh, how powerful that little pump is like I said that's the largest little giant pump on the market or at least it was at the time and that was about 15 years ago it was pretty good the water flow is basically down through that center support area flowing right across over there. You can see the problem I got. Actually, it's doing a pretty good the water drawing around these fins here, pushing it that way. Getting close to the grill. We reached, okay, we reached our spill. 20 gallons gave us uh, two inches of level. And I'm gonna open up my dump valve right here because I'm not quite there. But I just wanna look at the level. It's bringing the water level right to there. So you can still reach in and pick your parts off of there and see them fully. They'll be laying on here. Just like if this was a rim. Okay, that's what it'd be looking like uh, below the grill. Be able to reach in. You're not really soaking your hands and everything. This, this is right up there. It's like right, I mean, my hand's not soaked. I'm just touching the water. So my, my guess is pretty good. All right, we want to go, how long does it take to fill this thing up? We know that we need to do something with our nozzle because we're, we're getting splashed back. It's even just initiating the, uh, the flow 
at, at this level right here, we're getting splatter up and we can't have that. So we got to do something with our design here, which is no big deal. All right, how fast does it take the water to go from here to the spillover, the cut level, or the height of water that you want during the cut level? Start. Let's see if this amount of dump is going to take care of leaving this pump on, even if it's circulating, or uh, you accidentally forget to uh, shut it off. Two minutes and 15 seconds and it's dumping in there. And it's not quite doing the job as far as emptying it out. I'm uh, getting ready to peek this corner over here about half an inch down. Okay, but if we shut it off, it should drain down to a working height. That little giant pump is stronger than you think it would be. <laughs> uh, I'm happy with how fast it gets up to working level. Three and a quarter inches of water. It's an inch and a quarter above the grill. And I'm going to open the valve and we're going to find out how fast it drains from here down to get your uh, parts off the grill. Alright, and... Open. Of course, the fitting for the hose and everything else kind of restricts it down about seven eighths. And uh, both of these probably could be straight down dumps right into the tank, and that would speed it up. All right, I just barely started to see the top of the grill everywhere, and we're at two and a half minutes. So it actually takes two and a half minutes to go uh, change the level in this in this tank. And I think we can speed that, we can maintain the level and we can speed this drop back up by straight down dumps into uh, the tank itself. Attach my torch here and uh, turn on the machine here. And uh, I want to see uh, water action uh, to just straight torch uh, pressure and uh, what the water does. I mean, you know, this is an off, off tune uh, time to actually check this out because there's no grill, there's no material. Um, of course, we're not going to have a buildup of the the, uh, the turbo action of uh, plasma cutting and how much more that's going to speed up or have the debris and what the, what's that going to be. But we're going to see virgin air press, uh, from this high pressure here, um, seven inches off the water right here. This is with the head all the way down and with my tray in a position, the water level I have. Uh, so this is an actual uh, uh, demonstration of where this will be in the cutting mode. No splash up at that height. All right, what does it do when it gets close to the edge? Let's find out. Okay, I've done a couple uh, uh, water tests at, at upper level and you can see right now it's been sitting here for a while so it's even with the top of the tube there. Um, I've got a straight tube dumping the same diameter, the same diameter all the way down to the pail. Uh, with this fitting screwed in the bottom and a hose over here we were getting and cutting this flow down to about 7 8 disrupting it with a curve, a slight roll into the tank. I did have the hose in the water so that was creating a little back pressure 
clamped it to the side so it had free drain. That was a little better. Remove this, put this in. This is a little bit better. But this is still what I end up with. And I'll turn it on. So I pretty well got the control of it. And I'm going to have to redo that inlet to get the water to come in without splashing. And at the same time, I think I will restrict the volume on that so that I can live with this height right here. We're real close. No cigar yet. A little bit of playing around with that inlet would be my next guess. Uh, I'm still giving it some thought on the splash. Hey, all in all, I'm a pretty happy camper right now. Uh, the most obvious uh, thing that uh, I'm a happy camper about is, um, uh, it's like my wife Vanessa, she, uh, she, she drove in the driveway and, uh, and I said, look, no leaks. And she says, I thought you tested that the other day. And I said, yeah, yeah, I was going to soap test it. And, uh, hey, I'm testing it right now. And uh, halfway through the test, it, uh, it kind of dawned on me to check and see if there's any leaks. But, of course, I, I didn't see any, so nothing was, you know, catching my eye around here. And it dawned on me that this thing is not leaking. The amount of water that I kind of planned out the uh, the cubic feet displacement uh, is proven to be uh, right on the money and I you know I, I have probably planned on this being about an inch higher but I actually have probably enough room left in in the barrel here for another five gallons um, but I I'm pushing it to the limits more water than I uh, really need to have in there um, so that worked out fine um, a few little quirks and that's about it. Here's a, a close up that you can see the amount of uh, splash up that I was getting uh, on the outside. So it just gives you a different idea how much. I mean it's, it's a minute amount of splash up but it is consistent and that was only a short running. Of course there's nothing there to block it but we don't know about whether the actual cutting will add to that or subtract to that. And, um, and so we're going to be doing some more uh, thinking on this part here. It's you know it's fresh in our head, and uh, we'll be working on it while we're playing. We're going to be getting on to these duckings here. I almost got them walled up, and we're going to be cutting in our opening here and uh, get going. Okay, here's our eighth-inch sheet that uh, we just we just laid this over so that we weren't getting the splash up that you saw here. Okay, but I mean this is this is this is laying on the grill now, so this is how your parts will appear as they're laying even I mean the water is like just barely touch it doesn't matter you're, you're right there the water will is, a, is below the top of the part so you can pull your plate, plates out and I mean you know very little water on there that's that's um that's what I'm looking for hey we're almost there <laughs> all right I'll see ya bye